All right, so when we are deciding whether or not an animal is a reptile, we are looking at five things in particular. Reptiles have backbones. We have backbones too. So mammals have backbones, so do amphibians. You can feel your own backbone if you put your fingers in the middle of your back. So that makes us vertebrates just as reptiles are. So that's the first thing we're going to look for in our animals. Do they have a backbone? The second thing we're going to look for is lungs. It's pretty hard to see lungs, right? But we're going to look to see if they breathe air. Do we breathe air? Yeah. yeah, you got it. So we're going to check for that when we're looking at our animals. We are also going to see if they're cold-blooded. Cold-blooded has to do with how their body temperature fluctuates with their environment. Our body temperature stays pretty much the same all the time, no matter where we are. And we're warm-blooded, so cold-blooded animals are a little bit different in that respect. We're also going to be looking for scales. Reptiles have scales. So with each of the animals that we bring out, we're going to see if it has scales. And the last characteristic is eggs. Do they lay eggs or do they have eggs in any form? So we're going to be looking for those five things. But if you see an animal that has hair or fur or feathers, it's definitely not a reptile, all right? Do you see scales on this animal? <laughs> Most definitely you can see scales on this animal. Let's go, Lola. So they live in the trees of the Solomon Islands. They don't like to go out of that tree for any reason. It would be pretty hard to find a place to lay some eggs in the tree. So what this species does instead is they keep the eggs safe in their body and they come out of the body as they're hatching. So they do have eggs, but not in a traditional way at all. So. They are vertebrates, they have a backbone, they have lungs to breathe the air, they're cold-blooded, they have scales, and they have eggs. Is this animal a reptile? Yes! Absolutely, it is indeed a reptile.